It's not nice to eavesdrop, but it's fun. So let's check in on the comedy of errors at the Baxters. On the little things in life. Brought to you by Natural Wear Miss Claro. To know you're the best you can be. It's just to make sure you and your friends aren't throwing out stuff I want for your tag sale. Right. Ooh, it's hot in this <laughs> attic. How do you stand it? Well, I stand it because I want this attic cleaned out. These curtains we had in our first apartment will never use them again. I better save them. Well, that's silly. We've saved all these things for years, and curtains very seldom fit another window. They're either too short. Hey, wait a minute! Or... You're not throwing out those suitcases. Oh, honey, that handle is gone. That canvas one has a hole in it. They're tacky, dusty, dirty. I wouldn't be seen with them. Well, uh... would you? Now, would you take one of these on a business trip, dear? Uh, no. No. No, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, perhaps you could throw those out. Well, congratulations. I think that's the first time in our married life I've heard you say throw something out. <laughs> well, how do you know what to charge for things? Well, that's another problem we can't agree on. I think Faye wants to charge too little for everything. And Evie wants to charge too much. Hey, look, here's my old boy scout hat. <laughs> Hey, you're not giving that up? No, of course not. Oh. That corner of the attic by the chimney over there is where your things are. Things I know you want to keep. Stuff from high school, college, yeah. wherever they are. <laughs> yeah. See, I haven't looked through those boxes for ages. Don't start dragging them out now, please. We don't want to get them mixed up with what we're getting rid of. Aha! Uh -huh, my old high school football suit. <laughs> <laughs> I bet a dollar I couldn't even get into it now. <laughs> I bet a thousand. Oh, come on. I haven't gained that much. Here's another old suitcase we could get rid of. That was a good leather suitcase in its day. Maybe we get something for it. Sure. Might even get $5 for it. Oh, $5. Five cents. Five cents? You're not putting a price tag of five cents on my good leather suitcase. You had that when you went to college, and it was old then. Your father had it, and he let you take it. You're not going to sell it to someone for five no. cents. Oh, I'll put a price tag of 50 cents on it, then. Here. Here's 50 cents. I'll <laughs> buy it. Here. <laughs> Oh, honey, what are you going to do? Hang around at the tag sale and then buy up all our stuff so I've got it all back again? Well, you can always use an old suitcase. For what? Name me one thing you can use an old suitcase for. Well, all right. Well, what if we moved again? You can use old suitcases to pack things in. If we move again, which I hope is never, we'll pack things in boxes and the movers will transport those along with the furniture. Look, I'd rather you weren't up here in the attic with me. As long as you're home, why don't you put on some old clothes and start cleaning out the garage for the tag sale? So, we're going to have the commotion here, huh? Well, just Friday and Saturday, maybe Sunday. Yeah. Three days of strangers wandering all over the yard? Well, it doesn't need to bother you. Friday, you'll be at the office. You can stand one day Saturday, can't you? We make a couple hundred dollars in stuff we don't need or use. And you then think you're going to make that much? Grace Punderson and her sister made nearly 400 Of course, they had some things like an old player piano, which they get, I think, $75 for. Wish we had some big items like that. That's really good. You know... Uh, I want to get out of this attic. It's uh, too hot. Yeah. Where are you going with that box? Oh, uh, downstairs. Oh, honey, that's not stuff to throw out. I told you that's got all your things, you know, that you want to save. I know, I know. I thought I'd look through it tonight. Oh, darling, there's so much else to do. If you don't clean out the garage so I can start setting things up and carrying them out from the house for I the will, tag sale. I will, I will, I will. I get at the garage right after dinner. You can start now, then we no, can... No, no, no. Right now, I'm going to try on my old football suit. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> I am putting on my old football suit. <laughs> Dinner, will you please come to the table, dear? Coming right out. Well, it's not much. It's salad and cold sliced turkey, and I heated up the leftover green beans. But if we're going to get to the garage tonight and get that... Sky oh! you, Rama! Sky you, Rama team! <laughs> oh, honey, <laughs> really. How do you like your old football hero? Uh, can't you even get the pants pulled up? Well, just the... Here. <laughs> What did I weigh in high school, 25 pounds? No, you were skinny, dear. You were really, really skinny. Your mother was always worried about you. Well, that doesn't mean anything. She worries about me now. <laughs> you were too thin. You look better now, dear, even than you did then. Even if you are a bit older. I mean, you're cute then, but handsome now. You know? <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, take those old football pants uh, off your ankles and let's eat. Huh? You want a glass of milk? Yeah, okay. Hey, look at the photograph album I found. 
pictures of all our old gang. Okay, well, let's not look through it now, dear. Pickles, you'll want some pickles. Do you want dill pickles or watermelon pickles or sweet pickles or you want relish? I don't care, honey, anything. I wish people would say something when you ask what they want. This business of just saying, oh, anything. Watermelon pickles. Watermelon, pickle. watermelon. Right, look, you. Hey, look, look, look. What? Here's my old teddy bear. Uh -huh. And my marble. Yeah. Hey, look at the steelies I mm, had. I don't know why you bring those things into the kitchen. That box has been in the attic for years. It's dusty. It's dirty. Uh oh, I'd forgotten I'd save these. My golly. <laughs> why don't you sit up to the table and eat while you're talking? Uh, I'm looking through the box. Elaine and Carl said they'd come over and help us clean out the garage, and they're going to be here, and we will be ready. My prize collection in this old shoebox. Really? Here, wait till I get this cord untied here. Carl and Elaine will be here. We won't be through No, anything. no, wait a minute. i got to show you something I don't think I ever have before. I, I've forgotten I saved them, I guess. Well, Boy, I collected everything when I was a kid. That, I believe. Here, I put some salad on your plate now. I saved wait, cigar bands, bottle tops, match folders, candy <laughs> wrappers. <laughs> I'm sure. There's some sliced turkey here, too, and the string beans are hot. As a hard roll. Here. You like, you know. My prize collection. What are they? What does it look like? Looks like assorted small bottles filled with water. Not just water. What? Go ahead, read the labels. Nile River. Uh, Nile uh, River. I see that. Indian Ocean. Yeah. Amazon uh, River. Caspian Sea. Your... Irrawaddy River. Oh, I think your mother told me about it. Was your uncle somebody? Yeah, Uncle Brad. Yeah, uncle Brad. Boy, about twice a year, Uncle Brad would arrive like a hurricane. You know, uh -huh. he never stayed more than a day or two, but boy, the stories he'd tell. Uh -huh. And then, then, Uncle Brad would reach into his pocket and say, and here, my boy, is the Nile River. Oh, <laughs> oh your mother said your uncle's one. Too, you know? I'd go up to my room, yeah. lock the door, and sit there on the floor with my collection just uh -huh. shaking with excitement. Uh -huh. And I'd say to myself, this is the Pacific Ocean. I am holding the Pacific Ocean. Oh, uh -huh. isn't that sweet? How old were you, honey? Oh, about seven or eight. Uh -huh. I don't know, ten. <laughs> Anyhow, sometimes... I wish you'd eat something. Carl and Elaine are going to be here, honey. Here, 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 here. here, here. This was my favorite. Timbuktu. Sahara Desert. Taken from... Here, it says here. Oasis... In Timbuktu. Oh, <laughs> How about oh, that? that huh? <laughs> and, and Uncle Brad would act out everything. Uh -huh. You know, I, I I just sit there terrified as he'd fight off the natives with their poisoned arrows. And I tell you, oh boy, I was know, something. I know. Your mother said it was just wasted talent. He should have been on the stage or written books. But she said, you know, for anyone who drank like a fish and hadn't ever been ten miles from Dodge Center, would you pass the watermelon pickles, honey? You know, this cold turkey isn't dry the way turkey usually is. Dear, would you pass the pickles? What's the matter? What is it? Uh, what have you been saying? I've been saying if we don't finish dinner, Carl and Elaine will be here to help clean out the garage for the tax sale. I mean, sale. about, about my uncle. He's, uh, he'd never been more than ten miles from home. He made everything up. Your mother told me that she she told you later when you grew up. That never, you... never. You mean these, my Pacific Ocean, my Nile River. These all came out of his kitchen faucet. Well, I don't know where he got it, dear. Maybe from Will's Creek. What does it matter now? He made you happy. You know, we tell children stories all the time that aren't true. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You know. <laughs> Oh, don't empty them all. Dear, you've saved them all these years. Look, you're throwing out wonderful memories. No, dear, I'm throwing out a guilty conscience. That's why I saved these things. Hmm? Uncle Brad died on my 10th birthday, and my mother canceled my birthday party. I was furious. Can you imagine? I loved him, but I was mad. Then I felt guilty. Oh, that's understandable. Children are selfish, you know. It's natural, dear. Do you remember the stories he told you? Though? Oh, remember I remember them? all. <laughs> one, time, one time, my boy, uh -huh. I was pushing my way toward the North Pole, lashing the sled dog through a fiendish blizzard, and it was 170 degrees below zero. Oh, 170. No wonder you loved him. <laughs> oh, save this little bottle here. Oh, it says, melted snow from the North Pole. Save that one, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyhow, my oh. boy, there I was at the top of the world. Oh. And you know something? I think he was. <laughs> Every woman
woman likes to know she's the best she can be. So take a little time out for yourself, your looks, and especially for great-looking hair. Great-looking hair comes easily with Natural Wear Miss Clairol Hair Color. Choose from two personal formulas. Shampoo formula, our conditioning formula, is the easy way to get fresh, young color. Extra-rich cream formula is the one hairdressers use because no laboratory today has found a better way to cover gray. Shampoo formula or cream formula, try Natural Wear Miss Clairol to know you're the best you can be. Do you think all antiperspirants are basically the same? Well, ban roll-on antiperspirant may just change your mind. Take effectiveness, for instance. Tests have shown that ban roll-on antiperspirant will actually help stop wetness better than most leading sprays. Make your own test soon. Pick up a bottle of ban roll-on, and you may discover what we've shown in tests. Ban roll-on antiperspirant, proof that not all antiperspirants are created equal. The Little Things in Life has been brought to you by Ban Roll-On, America's leading roll-on antiperspirant. This program comes to you from the Radio Playhouse.